and the male seahorse is no different. He's also highly competitive, but this time to get pregnant. When two seahorses with sex on their mind meet, they gallop off to a nearby strand of seagrass, where they spend hours slowly twirling around and around, changing colour and making eyes at each other. At this point, it's the female that's carrying the eggs, though not for long. As the courting pair swims side by side, changing colour and holding tails, they grip a strand of seagrass and wheel around in unison. Then the male pumps water through the egg pouch on his trunk, which balloons and gapes open, displaying its emptiness. The female then inserts her oviduct into the male's brooding pouch, but only lays in very short bursts to avoid exhaustion. As a total of around 200 eggs are transferred from her trunk into his pouch, she gets her waistline back but his increases. Once the process is complete, he swims away to find a nearby plant, and using his curly tail, he grabs hold and waits for things to happen. Inside, his body is beginning to course with prolactin, the same hormone that governs milk production in pregnant women. But he won't be supplying milk, Instead, his pouch provides oxygen. It's a kind of incubator. Through a capillary network, he transfers nutrients which keep the inside of the pouch full of salt water. So when they're eventually born, young seahorses will be fully prepared for their life aquatic. But once she's transferred the eggs to him, that's the end of her contribution. It's the male that takes on all the responsibility for fertilizing the eggs and carrying them around as they develop. The typical pregnant bulge is finally released as the fully formed baby seahorses hatch by the dozen. Why the male gets pregnant is still a mystery, but in theory, the sex that is the most competitive has the potential to have more offspring, and male seahorses are highly competitive.